Let's explore some canvas controls. We have a few navigation tools along the left and top toolbars. To zoom in and out, you can use the magnifying glass icons over here, or use the shortcut keys on your keyboard, Control plus and Control minus. You can also scroll your middle mouse wheel for zooming, but if you're on a mobile device like an iPad, you can use the touch gestures and pinch to zoom and rotate. We also have a dedicated zoom tool on the left, which you can switch to with the hotkey Z. To pan around the canvas, we have the hand tool. The shortcut for this is space. When you press and hold space, it'll temporarily activate the hand tool so you can click and drag your canvas around. When you release, it reverts back to your previous tool. These two buttons along the top will rotate your canvas in 15 degree increments. If you want to snap back to zero, you can hit this button in the middle. We also have a rotation tool on the left, or you can press and hold R, click and drag to find a custom rotation. To get a fresh look of your canvas, you might want to flip it horizontally, which you can do with this button over here. When you flip the canvas, you'll notice this indicator on the bottom left to tell you that the canvas is flipped. And when you want to flip it back, you can just press that same button again, or use the hotkey H. On the right, we have your color wheel, tool presets, tool settings, different brush options, and your layers list. If you want a bit more space on your display, you can collapse this panel using this arrow over here and bring it back with the same one. If you're on a device with a smaller screen, you might have difficulty accessing your layers. You can try clicking and dragging this up or shift your layers into their own column by clicking on this gear icon and switching to two column mode. Now when you collapse this panel, it'll shift your layers off to the side while keeping your color wheel and tool settings visible.